Hello, you're watching Nested High School Computer Science. I'm Sam, let's get started. Today, we're talking about binary search. So what is binary search? It's a fast search. The reason it's fast is because it operates on the data, which is sorted. So it can't work on any ordering of data like a linear search can. It starts at the middle of the list and uses a technique called divide and conquer to break the data into smaller chunks. So, how does this algorithm work? Firstly, we look at the middle item. Our base case is, if it's the item you want, you can stop looking. That would be nice if it always worked like that. The next step is, if it's smaller than the desired item, keep the top half. If it's bigger, keep the bottom half. So we, we know which side of the data the item is on by looking at one single point. And basically we keep doing that. It's like when you're using a phone book. You open up the center, you're looking for M, and with the center page, you know if you need to go forward or back. So here's an example of binary search. We're looking for number 14 again. We're gonna start with number 10. Since we know 10 is less than 14, that half of the list can now be discarded. And it looks something like this. Here's our smaller list. We're moving on to 16 now, about halfway through the new list. 14 is smaller than 16, so we can rule out the half including 16 above it. Here's another smaller list. We're looking at number 13 now. Once again, 11, 12, 13, all smaller than the target item of 14. We can rule that out. Now we're looking at number 14. Wait, we found it. Brilliant. So, four comparisons, 10 fewer than linear search in a previous video. We're looking pretty good for binary search. So let's talk about the complexities of binary search. Obviously the best case, like most search algorithms, is one. The worst and average case is similar, O log n time. If you're unfamiliar with how logarithms work, I'll put some resources in the video description. Basically, log of a number is the number of times it can be divided by two before reaching one. For example, log of 20 is 4.3. We just searched a list that was 20 items long and it took four comparisons. So here's the big thing with binary search and this halving sort of nature of it. Let's compare linear and binary search. If we had a thousand items, linear search on average would take up to 500 comparisons, whereas binary would take only up to 10. Now if we double the amount of items we have in the list, linear doubles, it goes up to up to a thousand items. But the binary, we only add one more comparison because it has to halve, which is the opposite of doubling. So it takes up to, on average, 11 comparisons. This power is incredible with binary search and with the divide and conquer nature of these algorithms. In summary, binary search halves the number of items in each run. If you double the input number of items, it only adds one more comparison. The search is much faster than linear. However, it relies on the data being sorted. If you have random data or data that is not in order, you have to use linear search. So it's understandable as to why computer scientists give a lot of thought about how they store their data. It's another big area of computer science called data representation, which we'll talk about in future videos. This has been Binary Search from Nested. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks for watching.